Hi there, this video is all about how to develop a new product idea if you are a startup. Now obviously that's a long and complicated process and this is just a three minute video, but this gives you an overview and if you want more detailed information, do check out my YouTube channel which has got a lot more longer, more in-depth videos about the different stages that you'll go through. So maybe you are a startup and you have a fantastic new idea, but you just don't know what to do next and how to get that from where you are now to a product that's ready to go to market. You've probably got loads of questions and this video should help to give you a good understanding of what the process generally will involve. So now, just to introduce myself quickly, I'm Phil, I run a product design company. Between me and my team, we've developed hundreds of ideas over the last 12 years. Anything from textile products through to fully functioning golf trolleys with all the folding mechanisms and all the electronics and motors that go with that as well. So we have a huge wide range of experience and we've even taken our own product to market which we launched with John Lewis about five years ago. Here it is, the ARC pushchair. So we've got really good knowledge, we know what we're doing and we've taken products right the way through into manufacture. So using all of that, what we've done is to put together a good overview of the process and you can see that in this slide here and that goes through all the different steps you're likely to need for your product development. And we're going to talk through those. So initially you start off with the brainstorming, the feasibility, understanding your target market and pulling all of that into a detailed design brief. From there you're going to need to look at choosing the right product design agency and then they will start working with you on the concept work and then you'll probably go through into computer aided design development and then prototyping. Now often this is an iterative process and you might go through three or four different rounds of prototype to get the product as good as you need it to be. And I suggest you lots of testing, lots of market research as part of that process to make sure that what you're developing is right for your target market. Once you've got all that right, then we can start looking at the manufacturing side of things, which involves sourcing a manufacturer, looking at the commercial uh, price point of your product and value engineering when necessary, and then from there you can press go on your first production run. So obviously that's a really quick overview as I said at the beginning. Do check out this link here for more videos about the process or get in touch with me for a free consultation and I'll help you plan the development of your new product.